about my mom. I was just talking about her. She said, quote to me one time, she said, uh, I don't know how it started, but she said, you know, when you die, Stu, you get to see Jesus. And I'm like, Ma, I never met no 2,000-year-old man that could fly. I want to see Harvey. He said, well, you shouldn't say that, because like, well, they may not, like, I said, who are you talking about today? Mom, you live here by yourself with a cat. There is no thing. You know me? You're not, and that's why I didn't realize growing up, you're too concerned about other people's opinions. What do you think? That's more important. It's not what your family, it's not the government, it's not uh, religion. What do you think? And that's why I don't have a lot of money. I'm not always that successful in different ways, but I can think for myself. And that's the greatest gift to me. And the lastly, uh, uh, that's what I said. I said when I was a kid, I did puzzles. And Harvey did coloring books. I'm going to explain that. Uh, I want my hobbies as a kid. My mom's a school teacher. And um, I was at the same school. She's a third grade teacher. I was a fourth grade. And I remember after school, she said to do stuff. So I would sit there, and there was this maid, this little white lady. She was real nice to me. And she brought puzzles for me. And I loved doing puzzles. I got good at them. I could do like a 100 piece puzzle within like an hour. I, I, my mind thinks like that. And I look at myself now, and I think that's what I do. I look at the whole, it's not so much what's told in religion, but what's not. What's not in racism or politics or anything. And I put it together like a puzzle. And my way of looking at it might have been matched up with everybody else's way. That's how I look at the world. And I'm entitled to my opinion. In fact, I hear other people's opinion. And then Harvey, the thing that struck me out about him was he grew up a foster kid, became a national TV star. I was his best friend. He died young, 36 from seizures. And but I've read his autobiography, Breaking the Waves. And he said when um, he was doing coloring books, he would never draw a side the line. He saw other kids do that and he didn't understand it. He was always detailed and always, you know, and that's how he became an actor. He was always focused. And I can't explain more than that. But um, he was one of the most intense, focused person. He's he like Will Smith. He always, because I don't focus well. I, I'm very smart in terms of a Rolodex of experiences and uh, opinions. But I lose my attention like like Peter Griffin. He's a butterfly. You know, it doesn't take me much to lose my attention. But Harvey was always focused. And for him to die, I think it's the main reason I did my YouTube channel. It's of course on him. Because his story should be told. I see stuff on YouTube. Like, I know you like him, but I, I'm not that big fan of PewDiePie. And the reason, not that he did anything to me, that I mean, he cares, but for him to have 100 million views of subscribers, and Harvey, nobody knew Harvey is, Harvey is way, I think it has to do with personality. I've seen PewDiePie's videos, and I get it, game is really big, but he's not, I think I'm more creative than PewDiePie, but I didn't get subscribers in a year, and I got 250 videos, and that's a whole new thing. But it's just like, well, I'm showing that versatility, like, let's say if UFOs came here to Earth. And they saw what was life on Earth when the world blew up or something. And they said, well, the only thing that's left is PewDiePie and my videos. I think my videos was giving a more accurate picture of what life is and the versatility, the creativity, the honesty, and the uniqueness. And, um, but like I said, PewDiePie got 100 million views of subscribers, and I barely got 2,000. But anyway, thank you, Mo, once again, for making the video. Like I said, this is therapy for me. If you like my channel, like, subscribe. I don't know if I could get it, but... If you don't, that's cool too. I don't expect everybody to like what I'm saying. I'm saying for me and for people, if it helps people, I'm more than happy. I'm, I feel uh, fortunate that I can share my unique life with people. But if you don't like it, watch the bell. Sorry, right? I don't need negative comments. I don't care what you think because only people that affect me are people that can relate to me. And Mo can relate to me. Even though I'm 35 years older and that's a big difference, I learned a lot from him. And that's what I was telling Barbara. She was saying like, the Bible's only book, and blah, 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 blah. I'm like, no, just other religions, just other stories, just other things that happen.